Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about installing Jenkins on Ubuntu 20, putting in that prerequisite of the JDK, and then getting Jenkins installed and creating even a little job to test things out and show you things are working. Now, I need you to know that after this quick tutorial, I'm then gonna do a couple of other tutorials, one that shows you how to integrate Docker with Jenkins on Ubuntu, which is an absolute must see. And also another one on how to integrate Jenkins on Ubuntu with say Maven and Ant and Gradle. But as far as installing Jenkins, the JDK and getting it all working on Ubuntu 20, this is the place to be. So here's how to install Jenkins on Ubuntu 20. Uh, I'm gonna start off by installing JDK 8 using the terminal. So we'll find the terminal here, add that to the favorites, click on terminal to open it up. And I guess a, a sudo apt get update is always in order. So I'll run that command first. And then after doing that, I'm going to install open JDK 8. And that's a little sudo apt get install open JDK 8. Okay, now you might be wondering why is it if there's a JDK 11 long term support release available that I'm installing 8? I've run into a couple of errors in the past trying to get Jenkins to work with various distributions of the JDK and also on various versions. So I get some weird git can't start up values when I've used JDK 11 with open JDK. So I'm just sticking with version eight right now. Um, you know, it's what, November 2020 as I do this. Maybe in 2021, those problems will go away. But you do need a JDK, and uh, 8 seems to be as problem-free as possible, so that's the one that I'm going to use now. Now, with the JDK installed, the next step is to update your Ubuntu instance. Well, first of all, it needs some magic keys in order to install Jenkins. So we update this magic key with the wget command. And then also Ubuntu doesn't know where to get all of the different binary files for Jenkins. So we just give it a little bit of information about where to find all these devs. And we say, okay, put that into a little Jenkins list. We'll then do the good old sudo apt get update call. And you can see all these different Jenkins packages are getting updated. And with those two steps complete, what we can do is we can go ahead and install Jenkins. Say yes when the prompt comes up and then Jenkins will be installed. It'll even go forward and try and start it up on localhost 8080. There we go, it's installed. I'm gonna open up my browser, see if we can get localhost 8080 to show up. If we can, that means that Jenkin has successfully been installed, but there's still a little bit of setup that we're gonna to have to do. So I'll go to localhost 8080. And you can see right off the bat, it says, hey, I don't totally trust you. Can you prove that you're at the physical machine in which Jenkins was installed by finding this little key that I've hidden in var lib Jenkins computer. Oh, I'm mean, supposed to be computer var lib Jenkins. I was having a little hard time with alphabet there. Secrets, put the password in here to authenticate. Type it in really hard. And then there it is, the initial password right here. And there we go, we take this long hexadecimal number and we paste it in here. And that proves that we are physically at the machine as we log in for the first time. I'm not going to uh, save that password. I will install the suggested plugins. This is always really interesting to look at. Notice that it's going to install Ant and it's also going to install Gradle, but Maven, 
which is the heavyweight champion of Java build tools is not installed. That's because it's actually baked into the tool as opposed to Gradle and Ant, which are just external tools that it's using. So don't think that Maven is a, a third class customer. It's a first class customer in here. Notice we get the groovy pipeline and the basic pipeline. We get Git, but we don't have subversion. One other thing worth noting is we don't have Docker. If we want to use Docker, we have to install the Docker plugin and the Docker pipeline plugin as well, which we will do as we play around with Docker. But notice that by default, those aren't actually installed. The Bouncy Castle API is installed, as you can see right there, but we don't get the Docker plugins. After the basic plugins are installed, it asks for a, a user to add. I always add a user called Jenkins, especially when I'm just doing tutorials and stuff like that with a password password. You can roll your own, but uh, put a user in there. You can skip that, just use admin, but put a user in there. Make sure you remember the password. It says it'll start things up on localhost 8080, but we're actually already on localhost 8080. So. I don't know if that was a big news flash. And if you want, you can always just go in here, test job to run, just to test to see if Jenkins is working, create a little freestyle project. It all looks like it's running properly. And then all the way down here, I'm running on Linux. So I can say execute a shell command. And I guess uh, I can just say echo hello world. Click apply, click save, and then build that now. And that should run. And when it runs, just print out hello world. And if it does that, click on the console output. Well, looks like it's all working properly. And so that's how you get Jenkins installed. Now, really, you're, you're, only, you're not playing this on expert level if you don't have Docker installed you don't have Git installed and you don't have a couple of build tools installed, Git is certainly important. So I would say, you know, before you do anything with Jenkins, make sure you get Git installed as well. So check and see if you've already got it installed. Here I don't. And so it's just a matter of sudo apt install Git. Let Git install. And then, you know, you're closer to being ready to use Jenkins at an advanced level. I would say there's a couple of things you need now. You need to install your build tools. You should install Gradle, Maven, and Ant if you're a Java developer. If you just install Docker, you don't actually need any of those. But so stick around for the next set of tutorials and I'll show you how to do those things. But for now, I've got Jenkins installed on Linux with JDK 8 and it all seems to be working. And there you go, that's how easy it is to get Jenkins working on Ubuntu 20. Now that's only the start. If you really wanna be serious about working with Jenkins, you've gotta install Docker. That's the next tutorial in this series. And furthermore, if you're not gonna be using Docker, you need to install Maven or Gradle or Ant or all three in order to do your builds. That's the tutorial that follows the Docker one. So. Take a look at those as well. Don't just end your journey here. Anyways, if you did enjoy that tutorial, head over to theserverside.com. That's where all of these tutorials are aggregated. If you're interested in my own personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.